Hey guys, it's Stephanie Grahams, also known as Soapreneur, and I was just going to do a quick Memory Bear Q&A. Um, these are some questions I've seen, I've been asked, or I've seen um, posted elsewhere, and um, I thought the best place to start was actually my LLC website. So you can see it's sewing with steam, LLC.com. I don't show this website a lot because it's still um, being updated and edited and all that fun stuff. I do the work myself. And um, if you've been following me all of 2022, you would know that I have not provided sewing services all year. I put that to, a side, to the side um, because we had some major family changes um, at the end of December of 2021. And those changes um, caused me to have to put all of my sewing machines, embroidery machines, all my sewing products or uh, items and all of that into storage. Um, the storage is in Ohio and I am in Hilton Head, South Carolina. So we've been here um, in one part or another since then. Um, so I have not been able to sew, but I bring you content and I still lead my online classes. And so today I thought, why not show you just a simple memory bear Q&A video. Um, again, I don't edit. So if it's so noisy, if it's too noisy, I, I do have my noise canceling earphones on. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, so again, this is just my very basic business website. I do receive uh, inf or contact information from individuals through this website. So I still use it. It's just, I don't provide or offer sewing services right now in 2022. I kind of stepped aside for a little bit. Um, but hopefully that all changes here rather shortly for me because I miss sewing. So I do, I, if you want a website like this, I do build websites just like this one. And it starts about $600. So if you're interested, let me know. Otherwise, just come over here and see what I do and copy me, I guess. Don't really copy me, copy me, but get some ideas. So I have a quick picture of my first published, or actually it's my second published book, but the first book published for um, Memory Bear and Sentimental Sewing Business Owners. And that's what I am. That's the type of students I teach. And um, so it's still a PDF available through my Etsy shop. Um, the PDF is retiring and it is in the middle of being published right now as a physical book. It does take some time, but it's a work in progress. Um, these are not the classes I teach now. I actually I teach them free now through my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video, it should be through my YouTube channel under Sopreneur. S-E-W-P-R-E-N-E-U-R. Um, this is a story where I was featured in the Handmade Sellers Magazine. And I was featured in some local newspapers, but I need to figure out how to get a copy of that because when I go to download the copy, I'm being charged for a newspaper subscription by the newspaper, and I don't want to subscribe to the newspaper, honestly. Um, uh, so I'll see if I can figure out how to get that. Uh, meanwhile, I do teach the business side of sewing, which is what sewpreneur.com is. Sewpreneur is a play on words of sewing entrepreneur. So if you are a sewing entrepreneur, that means you're a sewpreneur, you can follow me too, because we don't just talk about memory bears. We talk about the business side of sewing. Uh, do I know everything? Of course not. Nobody knows everything about everything, right? Which is why we need to come together and kind of hang out and get to know each other. But moving on, you can see I have some information on how to order. And if you hover over this page, I have the facts and ordering. And I don't know if I even left the prices on, but we can click on that page and kind of see here. These are the facts. And again, this is a work in progress. So today is July 27th, 2022. And um, again, I will 
be updating this, but as of today, this is still uh, important. So some of the facts I say at present, we cannot take orders from outside the USA, which I don't, I, I won't change that. You need to be in the U.S. for shipping and receiving and all that fun stuff. Um, the best fabric would be cotton, polyester, cotton blends, flannel, fleece, corduroy, denim, chambray, moleskin, chenille, chenille, uh, terry cloth, and almost anything that's washable and easy to care for. Saying that, um, you know, if you have knitted sweaters, um, I do accept those now. And so, like I said, I need to update this website. Um, like satin and silk and knitted sweaters, I do accept those now. So I will be adding that to the yes now. Um, you know, the processing time varies. It varies about mainly due to the time of year. Um, Christmas is the most requested time of year for memory bears. And um, if that's something that you want created for you, you need to get those orders in now because most memory bear makers can't take last minute orders. But if you are the business owner and you're listening, then you need to decide when is a good time for you to stop accepting Christmas orders. Um, hang out with me at sopreneur.com and the YouTube channel Sopreneur because that's where we are going to be talking um, whenever I go over the four-week business planner. This book is it should be published. I'm waiting for an update from my publisher. Um, it's going to be 132 pages long. It's dedicated for four weeks of sewing. And you can see that I have already started filling mine out. And this is something that you can follow along when I go live on my YouTube channel um, as I finish planning the rest of 2022 and the year of 2023. And that's what's going to go into this four-week planner because I'm going to give myself four weeks to really think through what I want my business to be like the rest of this year and, and the year of 2023. So I highly recommend that when this goes live, you purchase yourself a copy. It's like, it's only like 12 or $13. It comes printed and bound for you. Um, lots of space to write in and accountability space in here. So definitely consider getting yourself one of those. Um, just follow along. Get on the newsletter because once it's live uh, from the publisher, I'm going to send a link out to you with my newsletter. And um, let me see if I can pull this up for you real quick. All right. So you'll just have to ignore all my extra tabs that I have pulled up. I do a lot of research literally all day, every day, because I bring that information to you um, through my website, my YouTube channel. Sorry. So are you able to see this website here? Um, let me see here. I'm going to pull up a notepad. And let's see if we can't show you this website. Okay. Let me see if I can pull up the notepad because I am going to type out some things for you. That way, if you want to follow along, you definitely can. They're actually called sticky notes here. If it will pull up. And if you follow me for any amount of time, you know I really don't um, edit my videos. Um, they have to be like really, really super bad, I guess, in order are uh, really like um, noisy or something like that, or really bad lighting. All right, let's see if I can't get this pulled up. 
before everybody gets back. Sorry, it's taking so long, but we might as well keep reading all loads. Um, some facts about clothing. All clothing must be freshly washed. Um, I know me and my company, I cannot accept clothes that are scented by cigarettes or cigars or have pet hair, uh, heavy perfumes or cologne. Everything needs to be freshly washed. I know this has been a debate within the sewing industry, and it just boils down to this. If you are providing a service, sewing service, and you have an order with clothes that smell of cigars or cigarettes or cologne or perfume, or they have pet hair on it, and you have that on one shelf, and then you're working on somebody else's items, that, and that person might have an allergy, you don't want to cross-contaminate those items. And it's almost impossible to not have your sewing space or sewing studio end up smelling like perfume, cologne, or have pet hair uh, stuck on the machines. Even if you clean in between, like in between my orders, I disinfect and clean everything. My sewing machine, my scissors, my rotary blades, my cutting mats. Um, I vacuum the floors or sweep them, whatever type of flooring I have in that particular sewing place. Um, and that's just a side note. Um, we've traveled a lot for several years, so hopefully very soon I'll have a permanent studio. <laughs> and I'll keep all of that to myself. Um, like here, I have to update this, the pricing. I said uh, I, they started at $60. Uh, ornaments, set of three, started at $50. Uh, and then, of course, you can have customization and add-ons for additional costs. So all of that has to be updated. But I thought this would just give you a little bit of information if you are struggling to get your sewing business up and running and that you are a sentimental sewing business owner. All right, so let me get another note here. I think I'm going to change this to blue. So we are going to talk about fabrics. So what kind of fabric can you take and sew? Not everybody has an industrial sewing machine. Like I don't. That's a dream of mine. I just don't have one yet. But I do have a basic run-of-the-mill sewing machine. I have two of them. One's a little fancier than the other one because one is computerized and, and one is not. But they don't handle super heavy fabric. So that's something I have to keep in the back of my mind when I'm accepting orders. So if you're a sewing sopreneur, um, that's something to keep in mind as well. So uh, don't accept an order if your machine can't handle the fabric. But saying that, a basic, my basic brother sewing machines, I have two of them, can handle most of the things I'm listing now. Um, fabrics, and I should say um, clothing. And so we'll just leave those together. Like jeans slash denim. I can pretty much handle that in my basic. Again, make sure you use the proper thread and needles when you're sewing, because that, that can. Um, that's a huge difference if you're using the wrong kind of thread and needles when you're sewing. Pajamas, robes, um, bed sheets, uh, different types of shirts like sport shirts, dress shirts, um, polo, things like that. Those I can all I can take all those. Um, and let me put athletic. And again, that's all considering your machine and what you have. Um, we have dresses, um, such as like dance outfits and wedding. And then I say modeling, but that, that varies by your understanding of modeling. Um, I have skirts and that could have actually gone up with dresses, blouses, um, pants, all different types of pants, uh, dress pants and so forth, blankets, and then I put quilts because 
you can take an old quilt and turn that into a completely different item um, that way you still have the same memories with the quilt but now it has more of a use to it another thing is that has been really popular are cutter quilts and i'll write that up here for you and my when when i use this term it means to me a cutter quilt is a quilt that is very worn uh, maybe the moths got through it maybe it's 80 years old and it's just fallen apart and it's been uh, mended and stitched and it's just it's so thin it's not worth keeping as a quilt and a lot of times someone like myself uh, and I'm into mixed media art I've done that again for a very long time I've been sewing since I was seven so over 39 days over 39 years <laughs> I've been sewing um, we would take cutter quilts us these art an artist and uh we would make 3d framed art you can turn it into pillows and cushions and um different types of animals and things like that and so those are some ideas um you can take any type of sweater typically um and then you have neckties and wedding veils so you can really take any of these items and upcycle them i like to say i won the green award for 2021 an ohio green business award so um definitely think of upcycling and a lot of things and this is totally a side note but if you want to know about upcycling you need to follow me and i will teach you that um and then why would you buy these right well, um, they're, they're keepsakes. They um, bring comfort. And, and um, let's see here. They're just a great reminder of, of good times and great people, right? And who? Who might want these? All right, so maybe a newlywed, right? Somebody going to college, somebody that's retiring. We have it for memory or memorial. And it brings in it's anybody, anyone that needs comfort. All right, so you can think of not just somebody that's passed away but maybe they've um maybe they've moved away uh or they're in the military right what about somebody going through cancer treatments and they just need to be comforted that's that's kind of how you should see memory bears um they're also their memory bears go by so many different terms um comfort bears uh let's see comfort memory bears comfort bears sentimental teddy bears and so forth so there's a lot of terminologies they're basically the same thing what they are not okay something that you need to keep in mind is these are items made from worn clothes clothing or fabrics and are not meant to be toys. That is a statement that I have all over my websites. Um, in the contract that I send to my uh, customers, it's on the, uh, the care label. I have a whole playlist on how to make your own labels. And um, if you need a better, training or more training on that you've got to let me know and I can go back and retape and show you a little bit better on how to do that because remember these are not made from bolt bolts of fabric it's from used articles of clothing so you really have to think about the dimension of the fabric uh, you know the print or the design of it where are the worn spots and the holes and things like that so you most likely cannot replace these these um 
pieces of clothing. If you mess up, you might have ruined everything. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of us that have been around and we've stoned for years and years where we can try to help you if you do make a mistake on the bears. But I highly recommend, and I've been recommending this for years to my students, go to the thrift store, buy different types of articles of clothing, buy different types of fabric, buy it in different sizes. Buy it, buy items that are really worn or really heavy duty and really know how to make your sewing skills better and more likely to succeed in this type of, of uh, business. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, definitely subscribe and the website you would want to go to for my newsletter is sopreneur.com. And that's for the free newsletter. It's also in the description below here. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It's Stephanie Graham. Be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Today is July 27th, 2022. Bye, guys.